please hear this remarkable story from my friend, Dr. Anita Zibo. Dr. Zibo is a doctor pharmacist who dedicated her life's work to healthcare disparities for cardiovascular disease. Let's hear what fuels her passion. Let me start with the story of my grandfather. It was the year 1995 and 1996. My grandfather died at the age of 82. He was a slender, extremely active, hardworking black man. He owned a business, he had a home, it had three floors and a basement in which he was up them every day. At the age of 80, he had a stroke. It happened one evening as he left a business meeting. Everyone there knew something was wrong, so the ambulance was called. When they arrived, they refused to take my grandfather to the hospital claiming he was drunk. So here he lost valuable time. The ambulance finally did transport him to the hospital. Here he stayed for 30 days as it was only my grandmother to care for him. After that time, there was no rehabilitation, but he was sent home. He suffered a second stroke. This landed him back in the hospital. He alternated between the hospital and the nursing home. During this time, he lost one leg, shortly thereafter the other leg, and then he lost his life. At the age of 82, he died. What I recall is the pain during that time of his pain and his loss of dignity as he lied in that bed and lost his legs. The difficulty of my story is not mine, it's that I'm not alone. Stroke, peripheral vascular disease, cardiovascular disease are all too common and still today, especially in the black community. So my grandfather died over 20 years ago and still so many today suffer a very similar experience. So this is what fuels my passion. I'm here to tell my story, but it's only one story. There are so many other similar stories. So join me in our efforts to increase awareness and decrease healthcare disparities in cardiac and vascular disease.